Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. It's a quick one. I don't, uh, uh, I will not explain step by step, but just how I did it. And uh, this tutorial is about this IC animation here. I just change uh, the render engine to easy, so you see something else. My computer is much too slow uh, to show it. If you change the cycles, the, the mirror uh, will be looking better and it will be correct mirror. Because as you see here is a perfect mirror and also in the right direction uh, in EV. It's, I don't know why, but uh, you can render it uh, later in cycles and it will look great. But uh, for the tutorial and for the speed, I will use EV. Okay. Uh, what did I do? I just used an HDRI from HDRI Heaven, as you can see here, it's a Golden Gate Bridge. And um, yeah, it's a basic setup, uh, nothing uh, fancy. And the plane is also just a plane, also nothing fancy here. All the magic happens in uh, the texture of the plane. So let's have a look here. Um, it's a uh, normal BSDF with the material output and all the magic is uh, about the metallic because you know metallic makes um, a material shiny and makes it to a mirror if you put this to one and in combination put the roughness to zero. Of course if your roughness is high enough uh, no reflection at all and with zero roughness you have a perfect mirror at least if you change as I said, to cycles. You see, it's a perfect mirror. And um, what we do by calculation, we change this roughness here to make here these white, shiny and a little bit transparent spots. How do we do this? Well, we use the object texture coordinate and uh, we plug this object coordinate in the noise texture. If you just use this in the surface, uh, it would look like this. This is uh, the noise, how it looks like. But this value we plug in the roughness of our mirror object in our plane. And you see, now it looks like this. Um, but of course, we don't want a constant value. This is now a constant value because the noise texture uh, in combination with the coordinate uh, will give each pixel a different value but constantly over time and of course we want to change this value over time we want instead of constant values we want to have time dependent values over time and of course we want to reduce the noise so we want the noise not some value between 0 and 1, but we want at the end, at frame 250, we want to have the noise at value 0 for all pixels in here. How do we get, get this? Well, we need a time-dependent value. Our time-dependent value in this case is this value here. Uh, I put it on 0 on frame 1 and I put it on 1 on frame 250 so wherever I am in the time, I get a value between 0 and 1. This is exactly what I want. This is what I get here. You can check this if you put it in the viewer node. 0 means black pixel, 1 means white pixel. So this is what we get from here. And this value we plug in the map node. Why do we plug this in the map node? Because uh, I want to show you what happens. Example given if I have a dot four here and I map dot four to, of course, I have to put off the viewer uh, from zero to one to zero to one. It's, of course, uh, exactly the value uh, what I'm putting in here. So one means roughness one because I'm mapping from zero to one to zero to one. There is no change at all. Uh, but I can change these mapping values if I uh, put this here up to 1. You will see it's not a mapping from 1 to 1 anymore, but it will change it to zero, uh, to 1, as you can see here. 
So when I have a mapping value from uh, 1 to 1, it will be mapped, whatever value is it, it is, it will be mapped to 1. And this is exactly what I want. And um, of course it will continually see, uh, grow this value because uh, I plug it in here. And so the range of the value which comes from the noise will be decreased automatically. And this is all the magic what happens here. I hope it was a little bit understandable and uh, have fun. Bye.